tornadoes across Wyoming. They had their first ever PDS warning, potentially dangerous situation. Uh, and you can see why. I mean, this is a massive tornado. You can really see these in the plains, really, uh, from all the way the ground up. Now, we also had a lot of hail, and that was all the way from Texas, where it was a little on the smaller side, to very large hail in Cheyenne, Wyoming. So uh, what's the severe threat today? Well, it still exists, and it's going to be from the northern plains and the upper Midwest all the way down to the southern plains tomorrow as well. So first, let's talk about what's going on today, because look at the unfolding of these storms. Through the night, they're going to sweep across Nebraska, South Dakota, ending up tomorrow morning across uh, a lot of Minnesota here getting in on the mix. And this is going to be primarily high wind and hail threats, but we also do have the chance for an isolated tornado. Getting into Wednesday, it's going to be the upper Midwest. It's going to be Wisconsin, down south through Chicago, and then down through about I-70 in uh, Missouri, where you're going to see that risk for, again, hail and high winds, isolated tornado risk. Summer is prime fishing season for halibut in Alaska, and what one man has caught could be a record holder. In Glacier Bay in southern Alaska, a 76-year-old California man caught a monstrous 482-pound halibut. The fish was 95 inches long, reports the Associated Press. Angler Jack McGuire would hold the world record for the largest halibut ever caught. But since it was shot and harpooned, it doesn't qualify as a catch, according to the International Game Fish Association. The fish he caught will yield about 225 pounds of fillets, says Steve Brown, co-owner of the Alaska Anglers Inn of Glacier Bay and the organizers of McGuire's fishing trip. Sounds like he needs to find a ton of halibut recipes. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel.